So a warm welcome to you all. We will be on the way very shortly once all the pleasantries are complete. I'm Peter Drury and seated in the experts hot seat is our man Jim Beglin. Thanks for that Peter and may I say a big hello to everyone. So the distinctive sound of the UEFA Champions League anthem. So it's away we go then. Daniel Alves. And it's Luis Suarez. It's Neymar! What a wonderful goal! And some of the best managers I've played for insisted on starting games as you mean to go on. And we've just seen a very important opening goal from an extremely talented individual who looks primed for more. He really does. From right in front of goal, there was no way he was going to miss. Neymar just knew instinctively where the ball was going to end up. That's clearly been worked on on the training ground and the understanding is, is pretty exceptional between them and it was beautifully worked. Barcelona have an early lead. Good start. Out wide to the right. Loose ball, who's going to get that? Daniel Alves. Luis Suarez. Done very well to intervene. Barcelona making the ideal start. It is something to build on. What a good start to the game. I think their play has been fast and inventive and, and this is a fine example of early intent. They've begun as they mean to go on and another goal is on the cards. Iniesta. And it's Messi. Cuts it out. Barcelona are out in front, sitting pretty already. First quarter of an hour gone. Barcelona scoring in the first 10 minutes to give them a 1-0 lead. Oh, good interception. Iniesta. Luis Suarez. Rakitic. Neymar, a scorer already in the game. Jordi Alba. So what now? Out for a throw. Sergio Busquets. With the ball through. Messi. Messi! It's gone a long way up and away. Mascherano Jordi Alba and it's Neymar did really well to intervene and dispel the growing danger Balls come loose and the chase is on. Luis Suarez. The move looked promising but uh, eventually thwarted without doing any harm. He 
He's got the ball, he's got the space. Demanding a quick ball here. Rakitic. The score's only 1-0, but that doesn't tell the full story. For a moment you felt that was going somewhere, but they'll have to go again. Barcelona are in control here on the brink of half-time. Daniel Alves comes sliding in. Tries a through ball. Neymar. Can he find a finish now? It's Neymar! Referee brings the first half to a close. Well, this team has found a real rhythm to their game. The players seem to have clicked well. There's good movement off the ball. The passes are sticking. No one's afraid to have a go. Barcelona leading a cagey game here. It's had its moments and it's 1 0 at the break. Whistle goes and we start the second half. Barcelona carry a one-goal lead into the second half. Neymar. Iniesta. Neymar. The referee's awarded a free kick. Penetration to go with all this possession. Iniesta pulls off an exemplary piece of defending. Gets it, and now what? Rakitic. Neymar needed to come up with a better ball. Yeah, and the vision to get him through was all good, but the execution of the pass wasn't quite right. But importantly, he's holding his line until the very last moment, and that will pay off. Messi. Barcelona are ahead here by what is still the only goal. Neymar passes it through. Neymar. Neymar! They've scored! And with that goal comes comfort. Look at look back on that goal. Well, I thought once he got the first part of it right by getting his knee over the ball, it was always likely to be drilled very low, and so it proved. His second of the game, and an eye now for the hat-trick. Barcelona take a two-goal lead, and things should be comfortable from here on in. Well, at 1-0, this contest was still nicely poised, but now that it's gone to two, mindsets are affected a lot more. Winning belief one way, and that losing feeling the other. Mascherano pumps it forwards. Barcelona haven't yet dipped into their subs. Great ball and now the shot. 
really well taken goal. Oh, given such an open invitation, he was always going to shoot. It's rarely a problem when that much time is afforded in the penalty box. Nobody sensed where the danger was lurking and the finish was made a lot easier. This is threatening to become a really good game. Well, it was important they didn't get ahead of themselves and lose their discipline. This game plan could near well reward them with an equaliser. Now it's Rakitic. And Messi! Oh, wonderful, wonderful Lionel Messi! Really outwitted one-on-one. -on -one. Once more, he gets the better of the keeper. Well, when you go one-on-one -on -one with the keeper, you can't afford any indecision. And that was decisive and clinical. Barcelona with two up and into a position of real strength. Yeah, they may well be two up now, but the beauty of this game is that it can all change in a flash. Neymar, face to face with his opponent. Aimed long and direct. Balls loose, who's getting there? Looks like a good ball through. And he's been judged offside. And just needs to work on his timing and be a little more aware of his position. PK. Played out to the right. Luis Suarez. That'll be a throw. Iniesta. Defence got the better of him this time, but I'm sure he'll go again. All is over the line. Played out to the wing. Mascherano. Not the ball he wanted. Forward it goes. Deftly done. Luis Suarez. Oh, you could just about hear the collective sigh there. They know they got away with one. Sergio Busquets. And full tilt down the left. Luis Suarez. Looking to force his way through. Suarez has a go! They are and surely that settles it. And time and space are plenty, he was never going to miss. It's almost criminal to see a defence fail to identify someone who thrives when it comes to shooting stats. They knew and yet they didn't heed and they've paid the price and deserved it. Barcelona grab a three goal lead, it's just too easy. A loose ball. The final whistle. Barcelona have won big and in style. Everything went for them. Their poor opponents left chasing shadows. A scintillating performance. Your reflections then, Jim. Oh, listen, if you've got that kind of power and that kind of pace in your team, I think you'll plough through most teams. Those central areas tend to be very congested. Lots of traffic going on, but it wasn't a problem for them.